In this video, we are going to continue with the general term of a GP. You will find this on page 52 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Now in this case, just like a piece, we are going to find the value of a and r. So, the fifth term of a geometrical progression is negative 24, and the seventh term is 1 and 2. Find the common ratio and the first term. Now, again, we are first forming two equations. Now, we substitute and um, in the place of this is tn don't forget this is tn this is 4 so that's why we're going to say 4 minus 1 I'm going to make it a little bit bigger okay. uh, 4 minus 1 the same there 192 and 7 minus 1 so we form two equations because there's two variables but now very very important if the variable was just in one term, say for example, it was a plus plus d. So in this term there's one, in this term there's one. Then we can make use of addition or subtraction to cancel it out. But if the variable, like in this case, is in the same term, then we must make use of division to cancel one of the variables out. Okay. I think we did it also in ordinary level, so you can just go back there. But it's simultaneous equations. So we are going to divide. So we divide the two. So we divide equation two by one. Usually the big one divide by the small one. And then the a's will cancel and we just end up with the r's. We take the cube root and we get r. And then we substitute r in one of the equations to get the value of a. And then find the first three terms. We're basically just going to substitute it in the sequence. And this will be the three terms. Not so difficult. I want you to stop the video. And I want you just to do number one. It's just to conquer the method. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Let's start with number one. The sixth term of a geometrical progression is, now I like starting by saying T6 equals 486. And the third term is 18. And then, don't forget, it's a GP. And what is the general rule? Make sure you memorize this formulas. Now, if I'm going to start uh, filling in, it's the sixth term. So if I fill in, I will say A, I don't have A, I don't have R, but I know it's the sixth term, so I have N. So 6 minus 1 equals 4, 8, 6, and the same here. Don't have A, I don't have R, but I know it's 3 minus 1, and that is equal to 18. Okay, then I have, oh, let me just get the pen correct, A R 5 equals 4, 8, 6, A R 2 equals 18. Let's make this equation 1 and this equation 2. So, again, we can say divide equation, which one is the biggest one? Uh, 1 by 2. And if we do that, we're going to say A or just put the big one in front, on top. So, if I divide the A's cancel, I subtract the exponents. And if I say 4, 8, 6, basically there, divide by 18, and that will give me 27. And then if I take the cube root, I get 3. Right, let's just move it up a little bit. So now I want to find still the value of A. So substitute. R is equal to 3 in, in the equation. Take the easy one. 
but you can also do it in one okay and then basically I'm just going to get a, a R squared so it's going to be 3 squared is equal to 18 so let's just move this still up so it's going to be 9a equals 18 divide 9 divide 9 so therefore a is equal to 2 okay so what did they find the common and the so um the common ratio is 3 and the first term is 2. Okay, but I think you will also get your marks without writing the sentence. And then this was now number A. Okay, so remember this was A. And now I'm going to do just B. B is very easy. Just filling in everything now. Uh, find the first three terms. Now remember the first terms is A, then it's AR, then it's AR squared. So A, so what is A2? And then AR, so it's 2 times 3, and that's going to be just 6. And then it's um, 3 times 3, which is 9, times 2, which is 18. I basically just substitute it in there. So uh, find the first three terms. So it's not, to make the dots and the three, it's not necessary. You can just leave it like that. That is the first three terms. And that's how you do it.